the Ebola outbreak. The CDC is raising its alert to the highest level as it monitors the spreading virus, keeping a close watch for cases here in the U.S. ABC Steve Osinsami tracking it all from Atlanta, where the two infected American aid workers are being treated. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, George. The family of those sick missionaries hospitalized just down the street here from the CDC are asking for prayers this morning. This morning, disease trackers in the CDC's Emergency Operations Center are on their highest level of alert, monitoring the outbreak around the clock. It's a sort of uh, all hands on deck thing now so that we can draw on people who normally wouldn't be involved in this kind of infectious disease outbreak. Fears over the disease causing panic in emergency rooms across the country. The CDC says six people in the United States have been tested for Ebola since the West African outbreak erupted in February. All results have been negative, including that New York patient who walked into this New York hospital with Ebola-like symptoms Monday. And the two Americans still in isolation wards at this Atlanta hospital now getting the kind of 24-7 Western medical care a specialist not treating them says just might save their lives. The key here is excellent nursing, frequent vital signs, fixing problems. You have a dehydrated patient giving IV fluids. You have a patient who's anemic giving a blood transfusion. Spain will now become the first country in Europe with an Ebola-infected patient. A 75-year-old Spanish priest working at a Liberian hospital is now back home at a hospital in Spain for treatment. He traveled inside this medically equipped military jet. In Liberia, this is what's passing for sanitation centers, buckets of water and hand sanitizer. This morning, we're learning more about six stranded Tuskegee University students who are studying abroad in Liberia. Their flights have been delayed for at least another 10 days because of travel restrictions in and out of the country. The university this morning saying that they are in a safe place and that they're all healthy.